Hey guys, it's Firefly Carrie, and we are back with another episode of The Walking Dead. I need to turn this light off. We're picking up exactly where we left off. He's not happy. Maybe we could walk. That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm. I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing is not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. There's a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly. Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's get these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. All right, let's climb this thing. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now? What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Look, y you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies. And, yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit. God damn, you guys have a kid. What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Well, this is great. <laughs> Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? I uh, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. The train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. It's empty. We're looking around, seeing if there's anything that we could use. That's about the only useful thing in here. Uh, Alright, let's talk to him. Let's go talk to your people, man. Oh, me? What? Alright, let's go. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes. Like I said, we could use some good people. <laughs> I just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. 
You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, kid? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. Alright. I guess I'm gonna go look at the... Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, alright. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, alright? Hustle over if you hear anything. Come on, Clementine. Somebody was doing some painting. Are you serious? We can't jump now? Okay. Guess we gotta take the long way. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily it's locked. We'll get better at working together. Hmm. <clears throat> mm, won't but. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Alright. <clears throat> up you go, Clementine. Okay. I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. Look, Clementine. It's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. We gotta find something to... There we go. That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah. We need to get in there and get that blowtorch. Locked up good. How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. There's some space up there. Not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. They didn't have much business back then. All right, Clem. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <gasps> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Behind you! Oh. oh boy
It's okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Oh no, Clem. Keys, now! Oh no. I didn't get at it, but. Ah! Alright, come on. Gotta stay clean. Oops. It's okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Keys, now! All right, give me the keys, kill him. <sighs> God damn. That didn't go so good. No, it did not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. found some walkers you and an eight-year-old versus three of them huh we handled it yeah it looks like what if you hadn't I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems that's a good idea I hope you know what you're doing with her. Me too. For her sake. We got it. Let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. No, Clem. We learned that everything we will ever do is dangerous. We'll get better, smarter, and faster, okay? Okay. You sure you're okay? Yeah. I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. Alright, come on, Clem. I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. I want you. interrogating this woman for us? Yep. She set off any alarm bells? Not yet. She's very thorough. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Hey there. That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted, but it means something to her. Oh, I understand. Where are you from? San Francisco. Jeez, a long way from home. I blame the one in there. He wanted the great American road trip. Well, he got a little more than he bargained for, huh? Who the hell is <laughs> in the Civil War history anyway, other than old white guys? <laughs> you two will be thick as thieves. <laughs> Careful, she's a crack shot now. You got this girl shooting guns? Look, I don't need a lecture. You weren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to take care of herself. What were you two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Nothing. If you're gonna be around for a while, 
be good to know what baggage you got. Then maybe we won't be around for a while. Sandy <laughs> used to be in on our own, Clementine and I. So you take her into a dark, boarded up building to build character? Not exactly. I think it's a good idea. Hold that thought, guys. I'm sorry, I got a random phone call from a random number I did not know. Yeah, figuring stuff out for yourself, for what it's worth. But be smart about it, though, you know? Teach her to scan the area for things. You two should never be looking in the same spot. That's a waste. Stay the hell out of places like that building over there. Especially if you don't have more than one way to get out. And be more afraid of groups of living men than dead folk. That we know. Omid and I are still alive because we're two. Not six, or eight, or ten. I don't believe in strength in numbers. And you shouldn't either. Not sure how we'll get that tank down. Maybe ask Omid. He likes to break things. <laughs> Alright, well we've handled talking to him, her, the girls. I'm glad someone's managed to keep the spirit. Let's see. Can we not go talk to Kenny? Guess not. Alright. Let's go up the ladder. As a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Well, we got the tape. Hope there's holes. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. You can't reach it now. Think this'll work? Dude, you're cutting metal with fire. How could it not? Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Run! No, turn! 
not me. Krista, no! Fuck! You piece of shit! She's a woman! Don't you know? Uh, baby. It's okay, honey. I'm okay. His leg was hurt. She was fine. Next stop, the Atlantic. We have to find a boat. We just have to. We will. You'll be all right. I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. What the? Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Oh, hell no. I thought that fucking thing was broken. So did I. Well, it sounds like somebody knows where we're headed. Who the fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're going to be happy when we find out. Oh, God. And next time, we'll find out we're what river. we're going to we're do to next. You want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here. So remember to, to be good, stay fun. safe, but always have fun. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. How much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street. Now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you! You understand? I will kill you! <laughs> <laughs>